Hi guys, how you doing? Um, if you're thinking of using um, Isotopes Elements or RX Elements within Final Cut Pro or Final Cut Pro 10, you might want to think about it. Uh, there's some uh, big issues that are like not likely going to be fixed anytime soon. And just to show you, um, I already have a RX Elements 8 um, already downloaded and installed and um, let's go ahead and just to show you we're going to use the uh, isotope plugin into, into some audio just to show you and uh, there you go and as you can see it will install fine uh, this is the D-click, D-clip, D-hum and voice denoiser which comes with RX elements as well as the external audio editor which I'm going to get to in just a minute. So we're going to go ahead and drop the um, voice denoiser onto the audio clip right here. And uh, as you can see, it's uh, in the uh, inspector. It is there and it shows up. Now, if you try to click um, um, the um, Isotope's um, built-in UI that gives you um, advanced features and um, audio meters and things like that, spectrometers. Uh, you try to click on that, it actually airs out and uh, Final Cut Pro 10 um, um, disables that plugin and even if you delete that plugin and try to re-enable it, just to show you here, we're going to uh, drag it back on here again as you can see it's still disabled so the only way you can get it to work is to um, shut down Final Cut Pro and then restart it and you'll be able to use it um, so I'm going to be back right here in just a second okay we just restarted Final Cut Pro uh, 10 and um, we're gonna go ahead and drag the clip on there one more time uh, just to show you, even though you can't use uh, Isotope's um, uh, advanced effect editor, um, basically any UI for some of the advanced plugins, you can still use, it, it seems to work fine in the inspector, and it even seems to work. Right here you can um, adjust it, and it seems to affect the audio. Unfortunately, if you go in here, you have to learn each and every slider and um, so you won't get, get any um, presets within the uh, Isotopes UI and it, like I said most of the advanced features in there so that's a big problem and I, I figured the reason for that was because um, uh, Apple fair released um, Mac OS Big Sur fairly recently, so maybe it wasn't supported yet within uh, um, RX Elements 8, but that doesn't seem to be the problem. And I've done a little bit of research on this, and uh, just to show you, um, now this uh, comes from Creative Cal, which is for uh, videographers. Um, now, the, this post comes from Craig Seaman, and he actually posted this on a, a couple of different websites. Now, Craig Seaman, uh, I believe, also works for Telestream that makes um, Wirecast, um, ScreenFlow, what, the one I'm using right now. And um, this is what uh, he sent out a um, support uh, help for. Here it says... Um, uh, here he says Isotope or RX8 removes direct Final Cut 10 plugin support. Uh, basically, what it's saying is um, this is what a reply he got about it not working in Final Cut Pro 10 from Isotope. And they said uh, some of the changes involved in the processing upgrades have made it a bit harder for Final Cut Pro to handle the DSP work workload. So, this was removed from official support, which is not great um, so that uh, basically cuts the effectiveness of this um, using it in Final Cut Pro and Final Cut Pro 10 uh, a lot harder now they do have a working around um, from Isotope where you can put it in their um, RX um, elements 
uh, audio editor, which I'm going to show you now. So let me go ahead and reduce this down, and we can open up um, Isotope RX8 audio editor. Um, beforehand, make it a little bit easier, and we're going to go ahead and go into Final Cut Pro, and you're going to select the clip from which the audio comes from. Now you can do this several ways. You can export the audio only out, um, like an AIFF or WAV file, and then drag and drop it into the audio editor, or you can even just do the whole video file itself. And I'll show you that right now. So you select it um, within Final Cut Pro 10, and then you're going to do a, um, a Shift Command R. And basically, what it does is open it up where that file in the uh, in the Finder, and from there you can drag it into. Um, RX Element Audio um, Editor right here, and it's taking a minute to come up here, and which just loads right here. And just to show you, it will work with all the uh, four plugins. Here's the D-Click, D-Clip, D-Hum, and Voice Denoise, and then we can just simply select that right there and we can operate it as normal and we got the uh, audio speakers turned off right now so those four plugins work perfectly fine uh, plus it gives you a lot of added features um, this is really wasn't made to be how to use um, RX Elements 8 is just to show you some of the problems workarounds for this so um, so if you are thinking uh, about using this plugin within Final Cut Pro 10, uh, I definitely wouldn't. Perhaps maybe in the near or far future, Isotope will or and or um, Apple will fix this issue so the plugin will eventually work. So um, just keeping that in mind if you're thinking of um, utilizing that within um, and spending your hard-earned money because uh, right now I think I bought it for about uh, $29 it was on sale uh, regular price I think is 129 so it may eventually go up to full price now you can just use the you can still purchase it um, but if you use it within Final Cut Pro 10 there is going to be uh, a few issues um, you can't use the um, graphic interface for it you just simply got to open it up in inspector and do it all manually which uh, makes it a lot harder and that's not even coming up so there's more issues I guess to work out but it works perfectly fine if you do it within uh, RX elements 8 um, audio editor and plus it's full featured uh, give you spectral analyzer and many things like that now if you save this it won't save it within Final Cut Pro 10 so what you got to do is once you um, repair the audio, you're going to have to export it out. And it gives you many choices. Um, I like AIFF. It seems to work fine with Final Cut Pro 10. And you can do the same thing. You can export the audio out from your project, Final Cut Pro 10, using AIFF. And then you can simply drag and drop it into the audio editor as well and go from there but then like I said it, it really makes it harder because now you have to round trip which isn't a fun you know aspect adding more um, lengthy time to your edit um, but it does work so you're gonna have to uh, either export it out or drag and drop it into your RX editor do your changes and then export it out and then finally bring it into Final Cut Pro 10 so um, that's what I want to address and let you guys know of. So uh, thanks for watching and see you guys later.